For horse lovers, the three weeks that make up the Lake Placid horse shows are characterized by a rosy, carrot and alfalfa scented haze of perfect bliss and connection. But even if you don't know a mane from a forelock, this equine party can be spectacular. Each year, the shows attract the world's top show jumpers. This year, though, a lot of those equestrians are competing for second place because Grand Prix standout Laura Chapeau appears to own the Adirondacks. The footing is amazing. The grass field is a lot of fun to ride on. Mm -hmm. And just the general hospitality here is a little bit above what you find anywhere else. The Lake Placid horse shows, though, are changing. Oh, sure, they still have top competitors like Kachina here, but there are other horse shows that are increasing purses, and that makes it more difficult to attract the top competitors. Still, there are a couple of things about the Lake Placid horse shows that make it different. Tim Hooker is the vice chairman of the Lake Placid horse shows and points to the perfect grass surface behind him. There are very few grass fields left in North America to jump on. And it's the way we all started, and it's quite a challenge to jump on that field. And that playing field is enhanced by the surrounding community of Lake Placid, its hospitality, and its natural beauty. Connecticut's Jamie Walker and her horse, River Rock, come for all of it. We came for the, the second two weeks and actually turned it into a family vacation. Um, I have two young children, and my husband came up, and um, it's just a beautiful place to come and compete. And Walker points out that even when the Adirondacks kick up a summer mist or a full-blown thunderstorm, the Lake Placid Horse Show grounds remain a wonderful summertime retreat.